Now that's what I call gourmet craft dinner. Gourmet mac and cheese. Uh, pretty simple as you saw there, just a box of mac and cheese with some bacon, some uh, cherry tomatoes, a little bit of extra old cheese grated on there, lots of butter, and a little dash of milk. This is going to keep me warm throughout the night. It is actually getting quite warm in here. Uh, right now it's five degrees. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's five degrees Celsius in here. And uh, that is equivalent to uh, almost 50 degrees. Really? Okay, so it's almost 10. So we're saying it's almost 10, almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I do live in Canada, so I run by Celsius. Sorry, all my uh, American friends. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this, and then I'm going to start to prepare for the night ahead. And I'll put that back up, see if it works. There we go, you got to balance? Okay. Take two. Okay, so I'm going to enjoy this, and uh, I'm going to prepare for the night ahead. That a humming sound in the background that is the heater the space heater that I've got on the go here um, I brought the temperature up 15 degrees because of that little thing so I'm definitely going to use it and uh, yeah but first I need to eat this before I get ready for the night it's deadly it's delicious Anyway, so my plan tonight is just to get nice and comfortable and maybe, I don't know, uh, read a book, like with paper, an actual paper book. I got a bushcraft book that I uh, got for Christmas and I, I actually want to read it. And it's not that I'm opposed to books I read all day long, um, but, you know, I'm like most people these days, I'm, I'm reading on my screen, on my phone. So uh, the thing about this bushcraft book is... I don't have, even though I spend a lot of time outside, I don't have a lot of bushcraft skills. And um, I, I think there's a real good reason for that. And that's because I'm not out there enough, you know, with a knife and an ax and some rope and, you know, trying to make a go of it, uh, you know, making shelters out of what's out there. Um, I really, I have never tried that. And I'm not going to call myself a bushcrafter on YouTube. I'm just a guy who hangs out at a tent and now hangs out in his camper. That's what my channel is comprised of at this point. But uh, I do want to work on some bushcrafting and I do want to challenge myself because the truth is like I'm a bit intimidated by it. And the reason for that is I'm, you know, a bit scared of black bears. And there, I, th I think, you know, there's a good reason why I am. I mean, there are a lot of black bears around where I live in the summertime and uh, they mean business sometimes and you know there's been some real tragedies here in the northwest territories uh you know in in recent years where people have actually died uh grizzlies and in, in those uh, circumstances but at the same time i do know of um i have friends who have had black bears come right into their camp uh harass them um you know one friend of mine a black bear went into his tent while he was sleeping ripped a hole into the tent and that black bear would not go away no matter how many times they fired a rifle in its direction that thing just kept on coming and coming and coming and eventually they had to uh take care of it and they had no choice they were outside of town and um you know it was life or death really and so i i mean maybe it's just as simple as getting a rifle when i go uh, taking a rifle with me when I go uh, bushcrafting. You don't see that often, I, I don't think. You know, bushcrafters out there with rifles in hand or a shotgun or something. Um, so maybe it would be a good idea if I'm going to do that. But uh, uh, I mean, I don't know. Have you ever been intimidated by wildlife going out there by yourself? Um, and if so, like, what did you do to get over those those fears? I'd, I'd love to know because I do have you know, I do have that fear that, you know, I'm going to be confronted by a black bear and I'm not going to know what to do. I'm just going to simply have a knife and an ax with me. So yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear from you on that. If you have gotten over that fear, um, how did you do it? 
And is it really just as simple as, you know, taking a, a rifle or a shotgun with you? So yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys on that one because uh, I've got to work on that. So this right here is the bed for the night and uh, that quilt you're looking at on top, gift from my mother. Just a beautiful, beautiful gift. She's a wonderful mom and uh, the, uh, the blanket uh, represents the northern lights and we get a lot of them around here. So yeah, that's the bed. I got that blanket and what else do I have here? I've got a wool blanket. And just another little gray blanket there so yeah it's interesting it's there's a lot of frost in here but I turn that fan on and take a look that window is starting to thaw out pretty hard Any of you read this book? What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, bushcraft books in general. And uh, while I learn most of my my skills that I'm developing slowly over time, watching YouTube channels, there's something just beautiful about having a having a book in your hand, referring to it. It's, it's a beautiful book. Anyway, I'm going to read a little bit more of this and then I'm going to turn out the lights and I, I'm going to go to sleep early morning tomorrow. i got to get up early. Okay. Oh, boy. Time to wake up. 
You guys see that? It's 6.34 in the morning. Now I slept out here the whole night. Seven hours sleep. And I had the space heater right by my head the whole night. So in the end, I'd say that was pretty successful little mission. A little sleep out here. I, I was comfortable. Like, I really was comfortable all night long. I had my back turned to the, the heater just so that way I'd have some cold air I could breathe in because if I had my face turned towards the heater, I was just breathing in that hot air. But uh, even, like, the hum of the fan just, like, knocked me out. And I was awake there at 3 o'clock. I actually contemplated going back inside um, to the house at that point and ending the video there. But I decided I'd stay in here and uh, and sleep it out. And I'm glad I did because I know if I actually went all the way back into the house and uh, got into my bed, it probably would have just woken me up. Um, I'm, like... I was stretched out. It was a perfect little sleep. Like, I've I've been I've slept in this thing maybe seven times. Last night would be the eighth time. I can't breathe, by the way. And uh, and you know I've had some pretty good nights camping in cots, um, in tents, and uh, I've had some pretty good nights at my tent. But I think last night was like the warmest, coziest sleep I've had camping. <laughs> camping by my house in my camper I'm all stuffed up from sleeping out here so right now you can see that I don't know if it'll focus on that there we go it's uh, like 11 or 12 degrees but when you're right beside so that's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit so when you're right beside the the uh, the heater all night though man I, I'd say my back was like 25 degrees last night maybe even warmer so that was a fun little night now I've got to go inside and I do have to 6 30 it's it's a Saturday morning and it's uh it's February 29th it's uh, a leap year and um a significant day for me uh, one of my daughters is a, a leap year baby so I uh I've got to get on the go because I'm going to be spending the day with her so that means this video is coming to an end and I really hope uh, you liked it. And if you did, hit like and, you know, subscribe and, and all, all those things, all those calls to action, as they would say. So, yeah, I had a good night. I had a delicious meal and I got to spend a night in my little camper and I got to make a video. So I'm really happy with that. And, and I hope uh, I hope to be back real soon. Thanks so much for watching.